Hello, my name is Amber from Nacelle English School London and I am here today to give you another free English lesson. Um, so for any of you who are new, um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays I work with IC Group Education to give you guys a English class that you can follow at home, at work or wherever you are. Okay. Um, so today's class is the same as all the others. I have a new um, a new focus point that I want to teach you and to go over with you and then we'll do some questions at the end to check that you have understood and followed the class. Okay, as always, if you have any questions um, during the video, please put it in the comments. Um, I can see all of them and I'll try my best to answer them. Um, if not, I will answer them at the end of the class. So it's lovely to see lots of you here. Hello, uh, let's start today's class. I'm gonna share the screen with you, so hopefully uh, in a minute you'll be able to see all of my notes that will be in front. Okay, so we're going to look at the difference between be used to and get used to. Uh, this is a really handy grammar point if you want to talk about your experiences and it's something that you will hear a lot. Uh, notice speakers use this expression or these expressions a lot, um, but sometimes students don't understand them. So we're gonna have a look at it now um, and we're gonna have a look at the differences. So we're gonna start with be used to. When I say be used to, I mean the verb to be. So maybe it's I am, he is, she is, the, the verb to be, used to. So we use this if we are talking about an action that is not new, not different, or not strange, okay? So for things that are not new or strange in our lives. So I have some examples. So the first one is about David. David lives alone. He has lived alone for 20 years. So we can say David is used to living alone or just easily, David is used to it. Okay, if we are already talking about the subject, we can say David is used to it. Or David is used to living alone. Okay, that's the first example. I have another example for you. Um, this one. A doctor works lots of day and night shifts. She doesn't mind this, okay? She's happy with the changing of day and night time. We can say she is used to working day and night shifts, or very simply, she's used to it, okay? So this is be used to, for activities or actions that are normal and routine for us, okay? Um, the next one then is the negative, not used to. So it's the opposite, it's for things that are strange, are different, or are new. Two more examples. So we have, James has a new job. He now has to go to work earlier than before. He starts at 6.30 a.m. So we could say, James is not used to going to work so early. Okay, this is a new, uh, it's something that is new for him, this action of getting up early. Or for short, James isn't used to it. Okay, the action of getting up early to go to work is new. It is different, it's a strange uh, activity. Oh, sorry. Um, uh, another example then, I'll just bring it up, is this one, talking about Milena. Uh, Milena used to live in Brazil, but now lives in London. She finds driving in the UK difficult, okay? We can say she isn't used to driving on the left, or she isn't used to it, okay? The action of driving on the left-hand side is new, it's strange, it's different, okay? And um, so we can say she isn't used to driving on the left, okay? So that is not used to, the negative form, okay? And then finally, we're going to look at get used to, get used to. So this is the process um, of the action or event becoming familiar or normal, okay? It's a process, it's an action, it's not finished, okay? So some examples of this then. Uh, talking again about Milena and her driving. So Milena doesn't like driving in the UK, but every day it gets a little easier. We can say 
that she is getting used to driving in the UK. In the process, she's getting used to driving in the UK. Okay, or for sure, she's getting used to it. Okay, it's in a process, it's not finished. Every day it gets easier. She's getting used to driving in the UK. I have another example for you. Um, Brazilian students often complain about the weather in the UK. They think it's too cold and rainy. This is the situation. Um, and the example then are the teachers always say, don't worry, you will get used to it. Okay, you will get used to the weather. Every day it gets easier. Every day it gets a little bit more normal. Okay, this is get used to. Um, so we have uh, be used to and get used to in the UK. Um, there are some things to be careful of. So the first thing is after be used to or get used to, we don't use the infinitive. We don't say to do or to walk. I have some examples so you can see this. Um, so in this sentence, the to is a preposition. So we'd say she is used to driving on the left. That's correct. We do not say she is used to drive on the left. Okay, can you see the difference? I also have another example. Uh, he is used to living alone. This is correct. We say this. We do not say he is used to live alone. Okay, so we do not use the infinitive verb. That's the first point. The second point then, oh, uh, we can also use a noun and not a verb. So we can say, I'm not used to the weather. It's too hot. The weather is the noun. Um, I'm not used to children, but it's important I get used to them because I'm pregnant. Or we're not used to the noise. Okay, so we can use a noun instead of a verb here. Other things to be careful about. Um, so quite, a, quite often when I teach this in a classroom, people start to get very confused between the difference of I'm used to doing and I used to do. Okay, so we've talked about be used to is if we, if the action or activity is not new or not different or not strange. And I used to do is an activity in the past that we did often but no longer do. Okay, so there is a difference. I'm used to doing and I used to do. I have an example to show you this one more clearly. Um, where is it gone? Um, I think this one. Okay, so here are two examples of the difference. I'm used to uh, I'm used to driving to work. I do it every day. Okay, this is an activity that is normal or not strange or not different. And you have the opposite or a different sentence. I used to drive to work, but now I walk. Okay, this is a past action that is um, that is not done anymore. It's not done in the present. Okay, we're looking at the first in these examples. I used to, I'm used to driving. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm having some problems seeing your questions. I hope you're following everything okay. Um, I will have a go back, um, but it's all very bright today. So I'm struggling to see your questions. And then going on. Okay, so they are my points to be careful for. What we're going to do now is a quiz. Um, to check your understanding. So I have um, I have a question for you and with a blank space and you have the options A, B or C. Okay, so the question here is, so it's a conversation. How was your first day at work? The response, it was hard, but I'm sure I'll blank to it. You have the options get used to, be used to, or getting used. Okay, get used, be used, or getting used. If you have any, uh, if you know the answer, tell me now. Is it A, B, or C? Get used, be used, or getting used. Okay, A, B, or C. 
We have four questions in total that we will look at. Okay. Are you good? I can see these are coming through. Nice. Um, number two. When I first moved to London, I found the accent very confusing. I never thought I would A. Am used to B. Be used or C. Get used to it. <laughs> okay, so you have three options. Am used to be used or C get used to. Okay, what is the correct answer? A, B or C. Your question, when I first moved to London, I found the accent very confusing. I never thought I would blank it. Okay, I never thought I would blank it. A, B or C. Oh, it's giving you the answer there. Oh my. Okay, number three. Um, I don't like drinking coffee. I blank tea. I blank tea. The options are A, I'm used. B, I'm used to drink. And C, I'm used to drinking. Okay, is it A, B or C? I don't like drinking coffee. I blank tea. Okay, A, B or C. I think we're at the final question and then we'll look at the answers. Okay. Number four, last one. Tom was shocked when he started his new job. He blank a busy office. He blank a busy office. A, wasn't used to. B, used to. Or C, was used to. Okay, he blank a busy office. This is the final question. So I'm going to give you a few seconds and then we'll have a look at the answers together. Okay, and okay, I think this is number one. Hopefully, we'll start here. So, for this one, when I first moved to London, I found the accent very confusing. I never thought I would get used to it. Okay, I never thought I would get used to it. Okay, this is the process of understanding, of something becoming more familiar. Well done if you got this one correct. Let's have a look at number two then. Okay, um, Tom was shocked when he started his new job. He wasn't used to a busy office. Okay, the correct answer is A, he wasn't used to a busy office. Okay, well done if you got that correct. Um, let's have a look at the next one. Sorry, these are in a different order. Um, how was your first day at work? Was this first part? It was hard, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. Get used to it, Number a, uh, letter A. And there was one more, I think about T, maybe this one. Um, and the question was, I don't like drinking coffee. I am used to drinking tea. The correct answer was C. I am used to drinking tea. Okay, so that is the end of the class. Um, so we've gone through the difference of be used to and get used to and some example questions. Okay, um, as always, what I will do, I will upload this onto IGTV so you can re-watch the classes, pause them and um, practice in a slower, more controlled environment for you. Um, as always, if you have any questions or um, would like any more information, please give me a message. I love to see all your positive comments and to hear how much these classes are helping you at home in Brazil. Um, so as always, have a fantastic rest of your day. I will upload this uh, onto IGTV for you to come back to later. And I'll see you again on Thursday for our next class. Goodbye.